Hi guys, so let us do uh, analysis on Audi USD. This is my theory though, the market might move in an opposite direction. We're just trying to predict in advance and then we will react once the market goes our direction. So let's start from the um, monthly time frame. When you have Audi USD, like for me, Audi USD is one of your pair that you should be trading every month. Why? Because it's not volatile. It's very, very soft pair to trade. That's why I want us to check on it. And according to the monthly, this is according to monthly, um, we had, um, we had, uh, we have a downtrend. So I'm trying to understand what was happening around here. So this market has been dropping though since 2020. So for three years, this market, you can understand for three years, the market has just moved how many pips? 1,800. That to show you how this is not volatile. There are pairs that in a month, it moves those pair, those pips. So apparently on um, how USD we have a double top on the monthly. So I'm really capitalizing on this double top. And this double top has a neckline. So the market might be dropping to 61.89. So DSD for me, I'm looking for sales because even if I want to look for buy, yes, I cannot assume this double bottom, but if this double bottom this month, it engulfs, you know, the month of November, the market engulfs that we shall have a confirmed um, double bottom. And you see, when we have a confirmed double bottom, the market will be going where it will be going to the half. So before, because it has not given us an engulf and if we have to wait for one month and you see, you might be waiting for that green candle to engulf and it sells. Why can't we first focus on the sell? As we know, in case of anything, this market can still buy, but the sell is the one that has been activated. So for now we are assuming that double bottom because again, we need that confirmation at the end of the November. So when you go to the weekly, what can we notice the weekly time frame is doing? So we can notice that the market has come to a very, very strong area. The market broke um, a one candle, uh, one candle ranging. And I don't know if it completed that one candle ranging. Let's see, did it complete the one candle ranging? So what we know is that the market has to complete that one candle ranging and you can see it is where the neckline is. So the market has to complete that, but it went half. What if, the, what if this buy is a retracement and you see we have entered a zone where the market has given us a double top. Can you see? So Audi USD has a double top. It's almost activating that double top. Let me show you that double top on the weekly. That is it. And that double top, is it on the monthly? Let's see if that double top is on the monthly. There's nothing like that. So meaning that double top is what they will use to take the market down. So it's almost touching. Actually, in fact, it has already touched because if we work with the, if we work with this, this green, we work with that resistance, it has already touched the double top. So you see, when you have a double top, you have chances of this market it gonna sell. So if you have that double top, you just need to check our half, guys. So that's what we have. If the next candle is red and then breaks that half, we have a sell opportunity. This sell looks some, somehow not, um, how, what can I say? It doesn't look clear, but it is very, very um, doable. Let's go to daily and see what is happening on the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, you can see it has gone back to the same area. The market has been ranging for a very long time. It has gone to the same area. And because we are looking for sell opportunity, let's try to go to four hour and see what is that that can trigger our sell so that we can be able to understand but that the market has now accepted to sell. So when we come to the sell, um, when you come to, to four hour, you might see the market broke our support. Can you see? The market broke support and it has never come back. Meaning, this sell 
is going down. This cell is going down uh, to that area. That is what it means. If a cell, if the market breaks an area, and if at all you can come to the daily time frame and you see it has not broken that area, it means you will get an entry using using a uh, four hour. So I want to show you the same support that has been broken on the the same support that has been broken on four hour on the daily, it was not broken. So if you are selling because all support was broken and you didn't wait on the daily to see, you would have been in uh, on drawdown right now. But now we understand that that support has been broken. The question is, how will we enter this sale, guys? How will we enter this sale? And again, you can see the market has come to give us um, a double top. But this double top is everywhere. It is on the daily. It is on the four hour again. So we have that double top. And that is not even a double top. It's a triple top. So it is everywhere. It is on the weekly. It is on the daily. It is everywhere. So. According to four hour, the only way we can know that this market is um, a sell, which strategy do we think now we can use to sell this pair? Because if it shows that they broke this ranging, it means it is going this distance. This market is going this ranging. So the market was there, broke and it went back. It means the market is coming to that direction. So the market is coming to that direction. Now we are trading with the lower time frame and it is four hour. We want to understand what will happen to this market. So the market can sell. And like I've said, audio USD is not volatile. So don't fear. As long as you will put your your take your stop loss, we will not fear to trade uh audio USD. So you can either try to tr trade with the trend. You can put a trend line, but I'm not a fan of trend line. By the time the market is coming to the trend line, we are already like missed an opportunity. So what we want to see is that after the break, how did this market come? So the market formed a support area. That is our first support. Then came and formed another support area. You can see our first support, our second support, then came and formed another support area. And we can see the support broke and then a green candle, like a fake out. Then the market came to this area, broke with a red candle, then with a green candle and the market went up. So what for me I'm, I'm thinking is that we want to see where the support is broken, like here. We want to see where is support getting broken so that we can enter that sale. So for me, I'm still I'm still believing that that support, if it is broken, if it is broken, and most of the time that support will not be on the four hour, on the daily. And let's see, let's check if this support that was broken was on the daily also. Was it on the daily? Let's see if it was on the daily. Was it on the daily? Yes, that support was on the daily. So most probably they might they might come here and break this support that is not even visible on the daily. Because if a support is not visible on the daily, you don't have to do time frame alignment. So for me, that's what I believe. Or they can buy this market and form this double top. The market can continue to buy. So we have two possibilities. I don't know if this double top is available on the weekly. Let's check. Is it available on the weekly? It's not. Can you see, guys? So there are two things here. It's either the buy continues. It's either this buy continues like that, and we get an activation here because if we get this double top, it's almost like 130 something pips. If we get this double top, the market it, it, it is not on the it is not on the on the weekly. So that double top will be okay again you need to understand that around this area you see this area guys not that area not that area this area the reason why we are not using this someone who can ask me why are you not using this double bottom is because the double bottom is on the monthly so we cannot use that double bottom that's why we are we are assuming that double bottom so it's either this market continues to go up and activate. So what I will do, I will put an alert on this area so that I don't forget. 6575. Come put an alert. 65. 
65.75. So I want the market as it is closing up uh, to give me that entry, to give me that an alert. So I will get an alert. If the market comes to that area, I will get that alert. But if the market does not do that, what you want to see is the market falling down. And you see, for me, there is what I will be checking. There is what I'll be checking. And my take profit, if this market, I will enter the sell. My take profit will be this area. So if I get a sell, there is what I'm, I'm waiting to see. Uh, I will sell down. But the market can still come up. Remove all the noise. Remove all the noise and come up back here. So the thing is, will the market go up? activate a double bottom a double top on the daily or will it go down that's the question on audsd audsd is interesting why you can trade it both on four hour and on the week on the daily thank you so much guys for watching hope you are understanding the lessons hope you're putting notes hope you have put these uh, pairs in your watch list see you next time bye bye love you